There is another village where people are strongly opposed. At an early stage, they signed a petition against the plants. Their village lies right next to the main dam. Right above the dam, a massive scar in the landscape. A landslide occurred here in the 1970s. Nobody died, but it is a reminder for people of the looming risk which they fear will greatly increase. Interestingly, this relatively recent landslide was not mentioned in the environmental impact assessment for the project. Environmentalists argue that omissions such as this marred the report and means that the potential consequences were not properly studied before the project was approved. Uh, this may, may be the case in terms of that it's not mentioned, but we have been aware of this for a very long time and we have invested very heavily uh, several hundred thousand dollars into monitoring of the landslide situation in Chachalut to try to understand basically whether there is any relationship between the construction of the project and the landslides in the area. These reassurances have not been enough to calm locals. People from the village Chanchalo blocked the road so construction machines could not pass. The conflict reached a national audience in this TV debate on Georgia's public broadcaster in December 2014. In other villages, residents have tried other means of opposing the project. None of them succeeded. But now the plans are halted, not because of protests, but because several tunnels collapsed a few weeks after the formal opening in 2017. The company has since admitted that their geological studies were faulty. The admission has renewed calls for closer scrutiny of the Norwegian investors, especially since they are preparing for the larger Namakhwani project. We are back where we started, at the river Rioni. This is one of the 150 planned new hydropower stations in Georgia in coming years. The Norwegian investors 
whose previous hydropower tunnels collapsed, reached agreement with the government in spring of 2019 to build two large dams here. They argue that hydropower is a clean form of energy which will reduce climate emissions. The two dams will cost $750 million and boost the country's electricity production by 15%. But people are beginning to ask themselves, will they really benefit from these projects? Attention is also turning towards the investors themselves and their close relationship with the Georgian authorities. One of them was paid by the Norwegian government to influence the Georgian government. He lobbied with three of Georgia's prime ministers trying to convince them to build this power line in order to export Georgia's electricity to neighboring Turkey. The power line will be used by the Norwegian investors when their first power station starts production. The same investor who then worked as an advisor for Georgia's government was also paid by the Foreign Ministry of Norway to oversee a pre-feasibility study for the Namakwani project. So it's not only Norwegian investors, but also Norway's governments and politicians who have directly supported the two largest hydropower plants built in Georgia since independence. But not only that, Norway's government has funded and offered advice for government agencies in Georgia that work on exactly hydropower. A Norwegian organization called FIVAS criticized this public-private partnership in a recent report. It describes a Norwegian hydropower empire where private investors backed by Norway's government and diplomats work together to promote the industry and see their projects through. The plans to dam the Rioni has caused fear in Georgia's third largest city, Kutaisi, which lies only about 20 kilometers from where the nearest dam will be built. Many tourists who visit Kutaisi go to see the dinosaur fossils in the Sataplia caves. The same type of caves are found in the vicinity of the new dam. Campaigners fear that when the caves are flooded, this will wash out salts in the rocks and threaten the stability of the hillsides. The natural landslide process could therefore be accelerated and cause a flood wave. In the villages closer to the dam, locals feel the company is trying to bribe them into accepting that the dam will be built. In spring of 2018, the Norwegian company met with organizations and the local bishop and promised them that the dams will be safe. So it's basically designed to withstand any uh, earthquake in, in the region, uh, basically over the last 10,000 years. So it's, it's, it's basically, um, uh, it's been designed because of course this dam is just upstream of Kutaisi. Uh, it is designed uh, to be able to withstand any or uh, imaginable or uh, Thank you.
Ich habe mich nicht mehr so gut gefühlt.